if there's one thing you take away from our podcast this week is don't bury people in the dirt. <laughs> Living people. Welcome to a more Philly Union, the podcast where the rougher the season gets, the more the weeks grind on, the more tired your hosts become, and the later the episodes get posted. We are your hosts. I'm E. And I'm C. Welcome back to the Ampu Studios, everyone. It's a duet this week as C and I fly without the benefits of Paul's insightful analytics and all-around soccer smarts. Also, we are nice and close to the mic, so we're doing our NPR impersonation, so... Get that Hi. tote bag ready. Doing? Yep. It's, oh, we need a tote bag now. <laughs> yeah. We'll put it on the uh, you know, stuff for the merch the, the, the merch uh, store. Fictional merch store. The yep. Fi- you guys gotta check out the way this thing looks in my brain. It's phenomenal. I yeah. Um it's right next to the Apple store, which is right next to a uh I don't know, an ice cream shop. Anyway, um yeah. I don't know, maybe it's a sign of the way the season's going, the way it's the union are just spinning their wheels, but man, these weeks are starting to grind and we're all starting to feel it. So um, we'll see how this, this episode goes. I think this is actually the first time just Christy, you and I actually did oh, yeah. a, a, an episode. It, so it definitely is. Yeah. There were a few I couldn't make Yeah, um, for one reason or another, but uh, this is the first time just the two of us. So it's going to be loose guys. It's going to be loose. It's going to be heavy on the color. Yeah. <laughs> lighter yeah. maybe lighter on some of the sets and and figures and formalities but um you know stick with us we'll make it worth your while all right well let, let's let's get the bookkeeping out of the way first uh yes. in the help us help you challenge our goal to get those three thousand downloads uh we are moving along nicely uh we got 65 more downloads since the past week um now granted we've gone uh i think an extra day or two because again we're a little bit True. late this week on the episode yeah. It's a late sewed, um, but uh, I guess the kids say. But um, yeah, so we're moving along. Uh, we're at twenty six seventy five, so we are just under four hundred. Um, yeah, from our goal. Back to the envelope uh, calculation here. It's only going to be about I don't know six eight weeks. So uh, keep those downloads coming, and we really appreciate it. Um, also, we want to welcome our 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 latest newest uh international download so we want to welcome our listeners from hungary um hey. I, I like to think uh, uh god's dog when he's over there he told some family and friends and uh you know they decided they needed to download and check us out so that's right th- that's the story i'm gonna go with until i know otherwise so we have a rich a rich inner life yes each of yeah. us so yeah and it's all yeah. right next to our mental merch store that's right and um, yeah, so um, keep those downloads coming. Uh, and in the meantime, if you want to do something extra nice and want to help the foundation directly, you can just go over to their website, www.philadelphiaunionfoundation.org and click on that big, um, lovely donate button and t- and tell them a more Philly Union sent you. So let's jump into it. This week's most recent game, Union mm-hmm. Charlotte union nil charlotte mm. two mm-hmm. another loss yeah uh on a miserable day uh that was very likely the hottest game we've been to yet i can think of two other contenders but so we were actually present for this uh lucky like, yes um my, and, my uh stupid little saying for this one is the weather was hot and the union were not Wow. Okay. So <laughs> actually before this episode, we were even talking like, let's not get super negative. And I'm no, like, let's not. I mean, you're right. Sorry. So um, well, I'm saying I'm absolutely failing in that department. Yeah. So, so am I, point. so am I uh, mentally I am too, but let's, let's, let's well, talk okay. Facts. So let's talk facts. Let's we'll talk fast. It might sound more upbeat well, facts um, and fast. All right. Well, let's get into this past week's game. Uh, Saturday, Charlotte was at Philadelphia and, um, so is the incredibly hot weather. One of the good things I can say about the game on Saturday is kudos to the uh, stadium staff decision makers allowing folks to bring in empty water bottles that they could fill up. So that that was nice because um, it was pretty warm in there. So um, we, we talked yeah. about this before. Yeah. 
and we we didn't want to go fully negative. Yeah, not full negadelphia. So let's, let's, we, let's we maybe pick the wrong game to 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 make that decision. I don't know, but yeah. um, but yeah, let's we're let's, gonna try to try to keep it in the middle. I yeah. Think. So let's let's start with the facts, right? Just right things we can all talk about. So like, who was all out? So uh, Bedoya was still out uh, with his um, quad injury. Blake is still out with his knee injury. Gazdag is out due to international duty. Uh, Martinez is out. Uh, also due to international duty. Um, um, Lo, I'm not sure where he was. Um, I believe he's on international as well. Last week he was, but when I looked up the injury reports, stuff like that, uh, he was not listed. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure it's okay. one or the other. Yeah. Regardless, um, he was out. <laughs> he wasn't a factor, I guess. Is Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then, of course, no Carranza, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, starting, um, in particular of note, uh, Andrew Rick gets his first start in net, which is interesting. Uh, Zemla was on the bench, uh, but they started Andrew Rick. So, mm-hmm. um, we'll talk about him a little bit, but, uh, you know, Hey, kudos to him. Congrats. Mm-hmm. Uh, CJ Olney, um, from union two. Um, I guess they, they keep signing these little short term contracts where he can stick around for another week or two or another game yeah. or so. Essentially, they're they're four days at a time, um, and they can sign uh, these MLS next players to. I, I, and I think I have this right to four up to four day contracts at a time during the season, mm-hmm. um, so that they're on the roster. They can actually only play in two mm-hmm. two league games. Now, if there's a tournament going on and it falls during those four day periods, they could play as many of those as, as happen within, within the contract period. Mm. But as far as league games to a season. Yeah. So it's, you know, I mean, it's very pinnacle kind of rules that <laughs> only they understand, but um, <laughs> there you are. Uh, yeah. That's an insight into me. Uh, still don't understand pinnacle, but um, <laughs> anyway, so um but yes, so he also came in uh, seven, at 17 years old. He did not start, but he did come in yeah. and play um, a little bit later in the game. In terms of other lineup notes here, um, our back four were pretty much in full force. Uh, we had Wagner on the left wing, Elliot and Glessis in the middle, Harry all outright. In the midfield, we had um, uh, Flock back in the Martinez position, right? That kind of central defending midfielder. Uh, bueno was in the uh, i guess alley's position usually mm-hmm. uh, sullivan was then on the right side um which i guess is kind of becoming his position um, mm-hmm. um rafa uh baribo and aura formed the new triangle of death mm-hmm. um um yeah it's interesting um triangle of light bruising yeah, it's maybe a better way to describe it um, at least at least in this match yeah yeah um, so that was kind of the, the starting starting eleven. Um, so in terms of, I'll just go first. In terms of the highlights from the game and my notes, I literally wrote there were none. Um, that's probably a little extreme, and that's a little the negativity coming out. Um, I, I will say this: Sullivan, because we were at the game watching this live, mm-hmm. Sullivan absolutely hustled. I still remember first, second half, both halves. Sullivan would be dropping back, switching places with Klesnet, so he's coming all the way back on defense. He's pushing up on offense. Um, He's definitely just, he's switching sides of the field. Like I remember he's on the left side, right? you know, when he's, when he's positioned on the right. Um, So I don't know if that makes for good soccer or not, but it was good seeing Sullivan out there. Absolutely hustling. He's motivated. And Mm -hmm. that honestly is, is all I can ask for at this point. I don't know what's what in particular, only he can know what is driving that motivation, but he is motivated to make Mm -hmm. a difference and I will take that. And he doesn't, he doesn't give up. He just goes and goes and goes. So, um, you know, that's, I think that's great in a very dispiriting season, Mm -hmm. you know, to have that. I mean, it's, that's something. I I think that's kind of one of the things, you know, because look, the union is not doing well right now. And I think kind of mm-hmm. uh, Sullivan kind of exemplifies that, you know, when things get tough, you just got to start grinding and, you know, mm-hmm. you may not get the results right away, but you got to just, you got to put in the grind. 
Um, mm -hmm. And he's definitely doing, I, I'm not saying the other plays aren't, but I just particularly noticed uh, Sullivan out there hustling. Mm -hmm. um, flip side. And again, I don't want to, I feel like we've been using the phrase uh, confirmation bias, like every other. <laughs> <laughs> um, not on but, the podcast as much. That's yeah, been more no, of our, our own discussions. Our, but our, yeah. You know, between orange Subarus and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, um, and you're welcome now, dear listeners, when you see that orange Subaru, you're like, Hey, are there really more orange Subarus out there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Or let us know. Or, them. <laughs> yeah. Let us know a pod at it more Yeah. You know. But uh, Glesnes, I'm still getting worried about Glesnes because, all right, so in this game, mm -hmm. Charlotte, uh, number 38 is this big, tall uh, striker, uh, mm -hmm. which is a really interesting formula for a striker, right? Strikers, mm -hmm. I mean, this guy looks like he could be a defender, um, but he and Glesnes were just, it was Clash of the Titans, literally and figuratively, these two big dudes going out. And this guy, I think, had a couple inches on Glesnes. And yeah, I, I really felt Glesnes was marking up on him, which is smart because uh, he's very dangerous on the attack. Um, and I apologize. Who what was number 30? No, oh, okay. I can't remember his name. But anyway, um, but yeah, again, there were a couple of these slip ups with Glesnes and, you know, attackers getting behind him. And he's just not, you know, one of the telltale signs that I saw was this is Glesnes, big dude. You know, very good at just stopping attacks and and balls from coming through. And there's this kind of it's early in the game, and it's this long arcing ball. He and the defender kind of go up and he, he uh, to challenge for the ball, and he's going up the head. It just he just misjudged it, and it cleared his head by several feet. Um, you know, and it was just very unglesness like. Um, I, I'm a big Glesness fan, and I'm rooting for him. And I'm, again, not mm -hmm. trying to do the confirmation bias thing, where it's just like you know. There's plenty of other mistakes going out in the field too. I don't sure, want to absolutely. On, on Jacob here, but uh, well, yeah. you know, the other thing about about Glesnes is he's very easy to pick out, so it's very easy to True. see. Yeah, what, right. It's kind of like with Elliot, um, you know, just for varying reasons, you, you know, uh, bright blonde hair, yeah, and or very tall, you know, kind of easier to pick them out. Yeah. Um, Jacob Glesnes is the orange Subaru of the Union. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Nobody's gonna understand this podcast but us, but that's yeah. all right. Um yeah, God bless so, our listeners. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it 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 seems like I don't know if he's thrown by the losses. I don't know if there's something going on personally. We've said this many times, but that it doesn't he just doesn't feel as solid. Yeah. Um and look, people know. are allowed to have down parts in their, you know, right. in their season. So I'm not and I'm trying to get on the, the Well, you know, I think the Elliot, you know, there's Elliot's been a little bit mm -hmm. off too. I yeah. know that he there were a few games where he was benched uh early, a little earlier this season. You know, see that um Curtin didn't said he's a great player, he but he wasn't right for that game yeah. and stuff. And even no matter how many ways you put that, it's probably very hard to hear. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's some, you know, kind of insecurity that's crept in there. Uh, you know, I mean, he was out for a red card, I know, uh, in, you know, previous game. But, you know, it, there's, there's some kind of Dr. Sharon needs to come and talk to the defensive line, I think. <laughs> some Something's yeah. going sideways there um and paul's been saying that yeah yeah <laughs> not 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 that they need um you know counseling to to or, or an exorcism or no, anything no, no. but just that there's something well, something wrong i mean i'm, I'm joking about yeah, yeah. about the, the you know just but they they do seem i i when i say counseling i just mean like poor lack of confidence there's yeah. nothing nothing uh i'm saying negative there but um yeah i don't know uh, yeah, I guess it all comes down to the defense is just full of holes right now, yeah. full of them, full, full, full. To try to step back from the negative, mm -hmm. because I, that's why I'm reminding myself not to go so negative. I will say this. So the first half, um, yes. I did feel like the union were more on the front foot than not in that first half. Yep. And in particular, maybe because Goslog is out international duty, uh, duty. Carranza is whatever Carranza is doing right now. So Aura is kind of the the senior statesman of the right. triangle of death. And as a result, he's kind of, again, <laughs> I hate to say the phrase confirmation bias, but 
as a result, it just feels like Aura is stepping up a lot more. Like he's really taking on the spearhead, so to speak, of the attack. And I just felt like mm-hmm. he was really making the runs, trying mm-hmm. to create opportunities to, uh, um, you know, get that first goal of the game. And so for me going into the first half, even though, uh, you know, what I was saying earlier about our defense and stuff like that, I was still feeling fairly confident. Uh, and and mm-hmm. also is fairly dehydrated after the first half. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, how about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, same. I, I first half, I didn't, I didn't feel confident. Like, oh, a, a goal is absolutely coming. But I felt like we were more solid than that. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought, okay, this is good. This looks better. This looks like you know than Warmer. than last time. Well, you know, last time it was you know a goal and then an answering goal and a goal and an yeah, answering yeah. goal. And I'm glad we had the answering goals. It didn't it all came to naught in the end? But um, I thought, well, this is this is yeah, you know, looking like something. And um, then they came back from the locker room. It's the the takeoff and landings. It's the takeoff and landings. That's what it feels like. That's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, I mean, it felt a little. This was a little less takeoff and landings, just because of the when when the goals actually happened. True. Um, but it's it, to me this was. I mean, but I mean that plays a role. But I, I think it's it, it was al- almost like the the two halves. You know, like we are we are a team that can play one half right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, um. It for whatever reason. Um. Yeah. We just that second half for me personally was a trip to the bad old days yes. it really 100 percent felt yeah. like the first few years in the stadium when it was like you know i i wasn't as jaded because it was like well they're a young team mm-hmm. i'm mm-hmm. just happy to be able to go to mls near near ish my house you know <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know because before i mean before the team existed e and i would occasionally travel somewhere like dc or you know, forgive us, New York, um, to see a game, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but that was an international game we went to New York for though. Uh, no. It wasn't no. Red Bulls. That was oh, Red Bulls. Was Red, Bulls. Um, this is when Red Bulls LA was. when Beckham was Beckham there. Was. So okay. That's a double. So that was yeah, yeah, that was I mean, we kind of yeah, we did one of those things. Um, you know, it wasn't as hard to take, but here we are, season fifteen, and it's um tough to swallow this for me personally was only the second time that i considered leaving a a game Mm -hmm. early Mm -hmm. and i unless something you know has gone really sideways i don't think we've actually i don't think we ever leave games early no we we actually stick around to the end when the players make their little parade around the field waving everybody we usually stick around and yeah yeah, if they do that, because they don't always do that now. But, um, but yeah, we stay till the end. I mean, we're we kind of wait out the traffic in the stadium, but that also too. it's kind of like, well, you know, I mean, just we're here. We're not going to run out now. Plus, you're more um, likely to run into Jason Kelsey anyway. Uh, sticking right. around. If you stick around, um, that could happen, as it did. Um, but yeah, so the only <laughs> other game we ever considered, actually, we did leave early. We were having car trouble. And oh, right. we had yeah. quite 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 drive home, so we thought. Um, and it was an exhibition. It was early in the seasons when they would have you know like a Scottish team come over or something, and you know, so it really didn't. It was immaterial to the season, so we we just left that one early. And um, but yeah, this was this. I was just sitting there. It was, I it, and that was a consequence of the heat too. That I was thinking I was sort of just baked and done. But it was very clear that things were not going to turn around. So let's you know, quickly break down the second half. So the, the first goal came in the 56 minute. Sure. Um, and I just felt like, I don't know about you, I just felt like this precursor signal, like right before he put that goal in the net. It was just, mm-hmm. it just, I, it just felt it was going to happen. And, you know, I, I think it's a little confirmation bias. <laughs> I wasn't going to try to say that again. Was, what's the word? Um, I think what's we have the, an episode title. What's what's the other? Yeah, there you go. Uh, we were originally kicking around uh, whatever. Um, whatever, never mind. Whatever, never mind. Because we were listening my, to uh, Nirvana before this. So, um, but um, no, not confirmation bias. What's it called? Um, Premonition. No, oh, no. Gosh, what's it called? A self fulfilling uh, prophecy. Self fulfilling prophecy. prophecy. Yeah, just like yeah. 
or mm -hmm. revisionist history. I don't know, whatever two word <laughs> phrase works, but you know, just after it happened, it felt like, oh yeah, it totally felt like that was going to happen. But anyway, 56 minute and Charlotte goes up by one. And I felt like at that point, that was the thread where this sweater just started to unravel. Mm -hmm. um, we did some subs or came out, Donovan came in, uh, Raffanella came out, McGlynn came in. So it was a little net, um, what do you call it? a zero sum game in that respect? You know, um, I thought Aura should have stayed in. I, I, I liked how he was playing. I, I'm not sure why he came out then, this double yeah. substitution. Yeah. And then Charlie got that second goal. And at that point, um, I don't know. I felt like, you know, it didn't feel like we were going to be able to come back from this. Yeah. No, I mean, by that point, I mean, technically, we still had a half hour. Yeah. But two goals down in ungodly heat still mm -hmm. which i know you know no excuses blah 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 i get it but it was it wasn't helping how about that yeah. and and just the way they were playing i mean it just they couldn't seem to keep the ball which isn't always a bad thing for us yeah, or hasn't don't worry historically about that been we don't worry about possession but kicking it where they ain't i mean there was just a lot yeah, I, you know it wasn't helped that we had uh sh charlotte fans down the, yeah. down the row from us to be I honest i was surprised the number of yeah. charlotte fans like there were a lot of intermixed intermixed um, yeah which i mean i you know Lovely i mean people. perfectly fine like no scuffles that i saw nothing none of that kind of stuff it was just fine but it's just happy to talk about their barbecue <laughs> that mustard based yumminess i mean I'm Actually, not maybe mad we should just that. switch the podcast to that. Go so ahead. yeah, North Carolina barbecue. How do we feel about it? Yeah. <laughs> where are you guys coming from? You you like Carolina? You like Kansas City? You like Texas? Where are we where are we going? That? Really, there's no there's no bad barbecue. Oh, oh I mean there well, is bad. Actually, some people would St. Louis barbecue. Uh, I will put St. Louis ribs up there, uh, uh, in the rib department. Um, yeah, it, it's hard to beat that one in my opinion. Not a rib person, so I, yeah. I can't weigh in. But um. We digress. Yeah, we digress. Uh, but do do let us know your favorite barbecue, please. Um, why not at this point? Especially Let's if there's any that. good places in, a, in the greater Philly area. That mm -hmm. Always happy for suggestions. Yeah. Um, yeah, two more subs came out, um, or two more subs occurred uh, around the 72nd and 77th minute. Um, right. Uh, Flock came out, only comes in. That's his first, That's right. um, first appearance for the first team. Um, but the second one, um, Baizo coming in, totally tracks. Bogner coming out, which was a little bit of a head scratcher. Um, injury? I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he, and I don't think it's a full injury, but I think he was having sort of yeah. pre injury tightness kind of stuff that they wanted to make sure he did not get okay. injured so uh, from what I heard. So, yeah, kind of a preventative maybe double checking that he was okay kind of things yeah. yeah that one that one did uh make us wonder when we were in the stadium but uh afterwards that does make sense more sense at least mm -hmm. um just an unusual definitely an unusual substitution um and sadly didn't didn't really help anything i mm -hmm. yeah glez so. says did tee up a couple shots in this game mm -hmm. as well um which is good to oh, see oh yeah that f first half whenever we were was doing the shoot and he darn near yeah darn near i mean there were there were a lot of what what and there were six um in a row corner kicks i believe it was right in the first yeah we that were kind just, of parked on their side of the field for a while yeah and um, it was just boom 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 i mm -hmm. believe six and you know it does feel like something should happen after <laughs> well i mean in and around six corner kicks I think that's one of the stats, at least um, the previous game. Um, and I obviously didn't, uh, the stat didn't improve after this game, but that I think the union had at least recently, if not still have the record in MLS for most goals scored off of set pieces. Mm -hmm. um, that's true. Um, that's also a nice stat that's hard to disprove, but I do remember hearing that. Um, so in terms of some stats for this game, uh, so not only did we lose two nothing, and we now are in free fall with respect to the table. I think we're in eleventh place. Um, mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but in terms of our stats too, we had majority possession. That's weird. 
Um, we had zero Damn yellow bad. cards. They had three. That's weird. Um, not that I want us to rack up yellow cards. But no, but. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, look, the, even the devil can quote the Bible for his purposes. So you can interpret stats any way you want to. But I don't know. You know, so this is the one thought I had in my head as we were getting ready for this episode. You know, things are off. Something's off. I don't even know. I, I can't put my finger on exactly. I'm not entirely sure what you know magic bullet will fix it it's not a magic bullet it's going to be multiple multifaceted solution but all i could think of is you know when you hear like news reports about the economy just in general and it's like what's the definition of a recession right when you have like three quarters in a row of negative growth or something like that we're officially in a recession i feel like it's the equivalent now for the union like yeah we've been talking up our team and look we do we love our team and that's never going to change but like mm-hmm. we've been trying to put the spin on things like okay we didn't do well but you know we were missing these players this guy was injured etc cetera, etc cetera, whatever and look those those can have an effect i'm not saying they don't but we're like six seven weeks in of saying stuff like this i'm like guys mm-hmm. I, I think we are in a proverbial recession at this point mm-hmm. like we were in 11th place oh, no doubt something's got to change i not exactly sure what it is. Well, I mean, we're going to get some players back, right? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> right? We're start getting some. Play- so I had to mute the mic <laughs> to clear my throat. No, I know. I was my I, TED I'm talk just, there. Uh, no, you're fine. I'm just double checking that 11th place, and you are correct. Um, okay. We're gonna. I mean, we're gonna get, start getting some players back. Uh, yes. Sadly, Carranza. I'm 99 percent sure he's. Let's. Uh, 99 percent out the door and just you know not official it's not officially been announced for whatever Mm -hmm. you know malarkey reason um mls reason um or union reason but uh i i think i i think we i might have said last week that uh curtin even said that he you know he won't be playing for us again i don't know what's final but he won't be playing for us again i believe i said that last week so Mm -hmm. um I, that players. sounds fairly final to me. So, but we're saying players coming back. Um, yeah, I mean, Gazdog hopefully um, will be back this Saturday because mm-hmm. um, sadly Hungary did crash out of the Euros, but um, apparently he's been pushing to get back as quickly as possible to play for the Union. So we will have him. That doesn't fix everything, but it's a step in the right direction. So Ali Blake, will not be back yet, but I don't think he's going to be out for long. Hopefully, uh, looking at like mid July for that. Sounds like Blake's going to be a little bit longer, just going by very unofficial comments in Curtin's most recent presser. Um, I mean, he did like mention that he did do a little bit of some light practicing with the team. Yeah, but it, I, I when I had originally heard about this this surgery, it kind of sounded like, oh well, you know. <laughs> We we fixed those flaps. <laughs> oh, I know flaps. Yeah, and uh, never. yeah, never good. But you know, and oh well, <laughs> it, 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 something about the phrasing sounded like, well, yeah, it's surgery and and all the things, but we'll be getting him back, you know, sooner than you'd think. And now it's kind of saying like, yeah, no, no, uh, which is more realistic if we're honest. But um, so I think it's gonna be a little bit for for him yet. But I I think. I, you know, Martinez is still tied up, but we will eventually be getting him back. Well, my point, I'm sorry, I'm rambling a little bit, but my point is we are, we are playing way down and I do expect that <sighs> expect is actually a very loaded word. I, I hope that we will be getting back up to something closer to fighting strength soon. Yeah. yeah. Having God's side back is a start. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, as, as our, our friend Gabe from We The Union put it, if there was ever a game to start a comeback streak, it's the one scheduled for this Saturday. So if we can have God's dog and this game, maybe. Yeah. That's, that's about- so say, let's just quickly talk about the game coming up Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Union are traveling north to Montreal mm-hmm. um, at 7.30 p.m., uh, just some numbers taken from what they're worth, right? We're currently 11th place, four wins, seven losses, eight draws. Montreal's in 14th place, 
with four wins, eight losses, seven draws, a little switcheroo on his stats. Um, yeah, and I agree with We the Union and Gabe, right? That if there was ever a game that we just got to get the win because the weaknesses, it seems like that Montreal is is, is showing are absolute points that we can exploit. Um, we, we, we were really good at you know, trailing behind in the score and just ruining the other team's self-confidence by coming back and beating them. Mm-hmm. It would be such a great thing. Um, and then hopefully if God's dog is back, hopefully he's able to, hopefully he's able to be on the roster. Um, mm-hmm. And I have um, two, I have two yeah. journal points I want to get to mm-hmm. at some point, but. Um, no, I was just going to say, I, I think that Gazak might not play as much as he would, at, you know, if this was just a regular game and he hadn't just come off a, of- sit with hungry um mm-hmm. that's jim implied that uh yeah. but you know who knows we'll see if he's yeah if he's raring to go i don't know how much he didn't I, I know he got some playing time with hungry but he didn't get a ton i know he's practicing with them and everything but he might not be i mean jet lag etc so there's that kind of thing but he might be ready ready to rock so let's hope so at least because as long as we get him like 50 cc's of poutine, and he'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was... I don't know how much it's going to help. <laughs> it might slow him down. We see him running out there on the field holding his stomach. I'm like, okay, that was a bad idea. Yeah, bad idea. Um. All right. So, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I don't <laughs> even have to say. It, it, it's, you know, like you said, after that game on Saturday, that was one of the first games in a long time. It's just like, let's let's just go. I mean, we mm-hmm. stuck around to the very end. And then as soon as the final whistle, we're like, all right, let's roll. And it's not even like we're doing it out of spite towards the team. It's just kind of no. like, all right, this is the party. The party's over. So let's just go. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, mm-hmm. You know, um, so two thoughts I had so far. One. Mm-hmm. Carranza um you know he he's going off to greener pastures all that right. stuff um that's cool right because I mean that's that's what we want um uh, I guess most of our players to move on to bigger better things I guess um well I mean I, I don't think we have to be that positive <laughs> well hopefully whatever happens they're leaving us in better shape than when they came right I just um, I am sorry to lose him yeah I'm not surprised we've talked about all the reasons why it makes sense for him to leave now versus the end of the season so I don't know that we need to go into that but yeah. I am I'm very sorry to see him go no me too I actually I, I, I was kind of hoping we'd make it through this transfer window without him getting scooped up but yeah hey, it happened and so I guess two things on that first topic one Hopefully we're getting a good deal all this good deal out of all this, the transfer mm-hmm. with Carranza and right, the question that's been buzzing around there. Is it time for us to splash some money and get somebody? You know, I I think we're all in agreement that, you know, one person doesn't magically fix the team, at least not for the long no. run. But, but like I said, we are now officially in a recession. We gotta right. something, we gotta try something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Second thing I'll say is, mm-hmm. um, and this is kind of the bigger one. There's got to be some sort of like sending off ceremony with Carranza, right? He's just not going to disappear in the night, and then that's it. It's kind of like I mean, I feel like the union at least have to say the, the fans. We need to at least publicly be able to say our goodbyes with this. I guy. don't think I, so. Actually, I think I think it'll be some social media posts. Well, that honestly, sucks. I think it will be. I don't. I who's, could who's be wrong. Of scoops here. I, well, I mean, Scoops has has been working through this. Yeah. Scoops has seen it coming. It, scoops was explaining to me why it made more sense for him to go now than at the end of the season, and <laughs> yeah, I was like, and... "Who are you?" But um, but yeah, uh, but she was sorry to see him go, and she also uh, said she wouldn't much like to be a soccer player and just be told where she was moving. Um, well. <laughs> Which is a whole different, whole different thing. But Scoop doesn't take kindly of being told what to do. Uh, period. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. So I. But but I'm just trying. I'm thinking back of uh, to other things like this, and you know, it's as beloved as he is. I don't think he was with the union long enough to to buy. You know, just uh, um, front office standards. Uh, rank for more than than yeah. than a, a social media post or two or three and uh you know 
we're sorry to see you go. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if it was Allie, if it was um, Blake, uh, maybe even Glesnes, I'm not sure. Uh, he's a, a little more on the bubble, but uh, yeah, I don't, I, I think it's going to be a sorry to see you go. Yeah. And then we'll see him in his new uniform. And that'll make me a little sick for a while. Yeah. That will look great. But um, I, I really think that's going to be it. So, I mean, all of this is unofficial. It's not been announced, at least as the time we're recording, which is Thursday night um, for the game. But um, yeah, so I, I don't think there'll be a, a goodbye. I mean, that tracks. That tracks. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but back to your previous point. Yeah, it's time. You know how I feel. I've said it before, but it is time to do something. It's time to spend some money. Um, I, you know, going out, and I, I'm still against going out and grabbing a, a fancy retiree um just to get butts and seats or you know whatever although Messi does more than get butts and seats he actually he gets results too but um but i think that uh we need someone to fill a gap my hesitancy is always that we have gotten people who are supposed to fill those gaps and made big fusses and met them at the airport and you know all that kind of stuff and then they never they just absolutely fizzle yeah so I hope that somebody has been doing their research as to not only who will benefit the team with their skills, but who will fit with the team. So maybe. as much as you can tell that when you're, you know, I, I mean, I, I, uh, you know, if it's like in, uh, evaluating people for a job or something, maybe it's difficult to tell, but, but somebody who fits the team culturally and the personalities on the team and that kind of thing because i think that's just as important right now as the skill set yeah no i agree i i mean or or maybe even somebody who can who can bring them up you know it, it, emotionally spiritually who was the guy on it was. Ted Lasso that oh, was the zlatan knockoff the, the zlatan yeah, we yeah, need him. Sandin. I think that's yeah. who we need. Was Zava was his name? Zava, I think. Yeah, I think we I need think Zava. So. Whatever the equivalent of Zava is, that's what we need. Um, Zava didn't do much for a- 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 AFC Richmond, did he? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, he was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of, he did more leaving than than actually yeah. on the team, I think. But yeah, so I don't know. Um, but we, we do need somebody at this point. Uh, somebody needs to... It's funny. It's almost like they feel like whoever has the most money left wins. Yeah, right. I don't think anybody has explained to Sugarman like how you win this game, unless he's he is secretly winning the game by I mean, getting unless you're, the money. Right, if you're playing it to make the money as opposed to not really worrying about you know the the, the silverware. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, this is so above my pay grade. You know, I'm just absolutely taking stabs in the dark here, but. Is it silverware or hardware? I always get uh, thrown Both. by that. I don't know. Okay. Whichever one you feel like saying yeah. it. Uh, Wingdings okay. versus webdings. I, yeah. I don't know what the difference is. So okay, <laughs> let's 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 talk about something I think we we can probably actually give a constructive uh feedback on. So yeah. what I, I put this in the notes. The curse of union yards slash oh, Lord. Matt Real. Um it continues. We 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 are absolutely just sucking eggs here. Um so what do we do? How do we break this curse? I don't know. Do we go to Union Yards and everyone buy twice the number of drinks? Don't buy any drinks? Do we bury something in the dirt? I I, I don't. I have no idea. I don't know what St. Joseph what, upside down. <laughs> I don't know. That always um, yeah, felt so wrong when people did that. I'm like, I know. I don't think that's right. I don't. Um, yeah, it seems that's feels, just a silly thing. Yeah. Like if if you for those who who may not be of the papal persuasion. Um, <laughs> There is a a not at all church affiliated rumor that it that's more of a just a tradition that if you bury a statue of Saint Joseph upside down in your yard and you're trying to sell your house that it will sell quickly uh, because then once it sells you dig him up and I guess the idea being that Saint Joseph will help you because he doesn't want to be upside down anymore. I it's I mean, very you just do bizarre. That with your realtor. I. T- Bury your realtor upside, upside down, down, your down your yard. yard. That house will sell quick, <laughs> and you'll be in prison. Hey, desperate times. Yeah, I guess. Um, so yeah, anyway, don't, but you're not uh, people in the dirt. Yeah, no, no, not 
Yeah. If there's one thing you take away from our podcast this week is don't bury people in the dirt. <laughs> Living people. Um, yeah. Preferably. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I was wondering, I was joking with E at the game, uh, you know, do they increase, uh, wondering if they increase the security slash police presence around Union Yards when things go south after these games now as each of these games go on i feel like they're going to have to start doing that because there are people who are going to take this seriously tear it down it's philly <laughs> somebody will somebody will do something yeah. to that place if they haven't already right. i'm honestly wondering if if anybody has done anything in a in a slightly you know beer beer soaked haze just to be um, clear violence is never the answer folks so no. uh no please don't attack union yeah. yards but. uh I, I just feel like we do need uh, an exorcism of un, of union yards. I don't know what that would look like. Um, maybe yeah. we all have to go down there and sing. Um, well, I think it involves a young priest and an old priest. <laughs> the uh, I don't know. I'm looking over a four leaf clover. I, Something I don't, I don't uh, know. All hold hands. Yeah. Um, um, swing bowers and play didgeridoos. Get the sons of Ben's in, sons of Ben in there. Um, you know, maybe we need. Latu to come in and do something. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably been there before, but I don't know. Hey, this could be just as good of a solution as you know, signing Cristiano Ronaldo. I have no idea. I think we all feel just so frustrated at this point because this maybe they should make a little diorama of of Union Yards and burn it in effigy. Maybe it's like Matt they do Real, with the like as like a giant Matt Real, like Godzilla proportion to Union Yards, just stomping it out. And just put it up in the corner. I'm going to get a shoebox and start working on that. All right. Well, that's um, good to know. <laughs> that'll be our graphic for this week. We'll that's get a weekend project. Real, oh, boy. Like towering over Subaru Park and shooting laser beams out of his yeah, eyes. You are challenging my graphic skills, sir. It's been a long week. Yeah. All right. On that okay. note. So, yes. Yeah, so the Montreal games coming up on Saturday, 730. And heck, man, it would be the best way to start the holiday weekend, start this um, turnaround here. You know, wait, hold on. This isn't the holiday weekend. No, nah, but it's coming up between <laughs> now and next week. It's the holiday <laughs> okay. week. I mean, it's holiday, holiday week. week. Okay. I mean. yeah. Sorry. I just want to make up. sure you knew what week it was. All right. Yeah. I don't yeah know we're what good. Week it is anyway. we're, we're, um, good. we're good. So, gosh, I don't know. Guys, I have nothing. And then aside from the Montreal game this weekend, um, we have uh, the union will be traveling to Chicago on July 3rd, the day before our independence day, maybe independence from losing or not doing well on the table. Uh, so that's going to be on July 3rd uh, out in, out in Chicago. Um, it's up to them, whether it's a day where we celebrate the independence of our nation or where we get destroyed by aliens. Okay. Union. MLS gods. The universe. Who's ever in charge. Um, we are going up against the two lowest ranked teams in the Eastern Conference back to back. Montreal, Montreal's 14th. Chicago's 15th. And yeah, I'm piggybacking off what Gabe said. If there was ever a game to start the turnaround, this is it. Come on, we even have fireworks the day after on the fourth. So let's just do it. Let's win some games. Let's win some games. P.S. Win some games. Over here on mic three, guys. Come on, join me. You can do it. You can do it. You can win this. Two. Eric's looking at me because he doesn't know what I'm referencing. I, I'm not sure this reference. Daily Show. It was uh, oh. John Stewart used to do this. Okay. Over here, chat. Let's just talk on camera three. Okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, no, I mean, we'll all hope be lost, guys. What do you think? If these two games go yeah. south, what how you are you feeling about the season? Yeah. Let us know. Write us. Um, you know, pod at amorphiliaunion dot com. Uh, you know, we're on we're on the socials. Um, get in the comments. Get get in the comments. Let us know us. what you think. I am not encouraging every, anybody to give yeah. up. I'd prefer you didn't. Um, you know, I, I don't get anything from saying that at all. But I just, you know, I hope dies last, right? E? So yes. 
I studs turkle, baby. Studs turkle. Uh, but I'm really hoping that I'm hopeful and I will remain hopeful, but I'm it's it's getting hard. It's getting harder. I think that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. So as you said, if we can't do it against these guys, I'm not I'm really not sure what to think. I mean, this this really felt like the nadir uh, this this last game. And I, I know some of that was heat induced. It was truly it was. I mean, it, it, all kidding aside, it was it was it was rough. But um, and I can't imagine what it was like to play in it. I can't imagine. Sure. Yeah. But um, yeah. So, but but now we're playing these these two teams that, again, on paper <laughs> at one time, we should have been able to beat. So and then and then. God help us! We come back and play the Red Bulls, uh, another game for which we need to win we, just for well, and we'll be reasons. in attendance. Oh yeah, with, we're gonna be at with that one too. with scoops. Scoops will be there. So um, now scoops out, insists hi. that she, anytime she has She's been there a for a Red Bulls charm. game, she is a good luck. They charm. have won. She is a good luck. Except charm. I think maybe once. No, but I'm just um, say she, it's every game. Okay, we're gonna say it's every game. So hopefully that's helpful, but it's time. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, we are literally at the halfway point in the season and we're facing the two lowest ranked teams in Eastern conference. The margins are all but gone. So we got to start winning. These are the two teams that we could start that winning against. Let's just get this done. Let's do it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to I have nothing else. I honestly, I know it's light wisdom? this week, guys. And, you know, I thank you for, uh, you know, writing it out with us. I wish we could offer you more. Uh, we tried to be as enthusiastic as we could, but uh, we also, I mean, there's a fine line between, uh, in this situation, between enthusiasm and delusion. Uh, huh. I think we're trying to to walk that line. So, yeah. um, um I think that's about all there is to say. So uh, a three-game week, never easy. Well. Yeah, three games in eight days. Three games in eight days. Okay. Yikes. Eight days a week. <laughs> and there's so, our music a selection week. for the uh, episode. Yeah, there's a few for this one. Uh, I have ideas. Um, but it's going to be a rough week, but I... I'm not I'm not out of it yet. I don't think he is either. I don't want to no, speak for you. No, no. But it's it's getting harder and harder and and more tiring. All right. If you want to jump in on this commiseration, if that's an actual word, um, but you want to get on our conversation, share your thoughts, pains, whatever it might be, um, you can check us out at our website, amorephillyunion.com. You can email us. And we love reading the emails. Pod at amorephillyunion.com. On Twitter, we are amorephillyu. Instagram, YouTube, and Threads. We are a more Philly Union. Um, our our Spotify playlists, as I like to think of it as a more Philly Union, the musical uh, is growing every week. Um, so there's two a more Philly Unions on Spotify. One's the podcast, one's the playlist, and enjoy both. Also, if you have any song requests, feel free to get in the comments or send us an email as well. We always try to work them in. Um, and keep downloading our podcast where you get where you get yours, which is pretty much everywhere. And hey, thanks for slogging through all this uh, this episode. It was a it was a slogger. Nowhere so, but up. Yeah, nowhere but up. So thanks everyone for tuning into another episode of a more Philly Union. We are your hosts. I'm E, and I'm C. Go. Go. And the later the episodes get posted, we are your hosts. I'm C. Oh, my God. I just said I'm C. <laughs> all right. Do it one more time. Oh, we're all out of whack. Oh we need God. Paul to hold us together. <laughs>